Yeah, yeah, welcome back to Put on the List. I am Andres with my co-host, fresh back from his trip from Arrakis, Francisco. What's up? It was spicy. Nice got and of, spicy. Got a lot of sand in places that didn't belong. Yeah, I got a little bit of everything. <laughs> Emotional. Got, it Ooh. was an experience. Yeah, but uh, enough about that. We'll just chat a little bit later. Okay. What do we got going on this week, sir? Number one, too many trailers, but we're going to get into them. Some really fun trailers that just dropped. Got some nerd news. We got, we're going to talk a little bit more about the Dune, how it's doing globally. We got some curious Johnny Depp stuff. Like, hmm. We got some Superman nerdery. A couple of little things. Then we watch some stuff. We're going to get back into Constellation. Go over to Feudal Japan and Shogun. And we might have a little comedy we can talk about. That's that's pretty good right there. I think that should take it. That should do it. Sounds good, man. I guess there's only one thing to do. Let's start the show. All right. What is up, man? How How's you doing? doing? Good, good. How was your Ready? week? Long, but good. It's cold. I don't understand, but all right. It's cold? Cold. Yeah. Freezing. Dang. I don't get you it. You got no cold. warm blankets up there? All you got, do is talk I about got, warm blankets. I got all the warm blankets, son. I got all the warm blankets. Bust them out. Bust anyway, them out. Put on some fucking Paddington or... How dare you? Well, I mean, I had an interesting weekend myself. Had uh. Got a chance to check out something that came out that a lot of people saw this weekend. Did you? Yeah. Fuck. And we'll get into that. But um, yeah. wait, wait. Question. Let's see the popcorn bucket. I didn't go for the bucket. You fucking asshole. My hand wasn't even going to fit in it. What am it's I going to do about, with it? It's not about your hand fitting it. It's about well, I mean, things. if my hand's not going to fit in it, then my, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. So, anyways, how much yeah. was the bucket? Did you at least explore that? Because I have not even looked into that. You know what? I did the buy the tickets online. Beepity beepity boop. Scan me in. Fucking straight to my seat. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I mean, I got my drink. I had ordered it online too. I just like it said Francisco on the cup. I grabbed it. Boom. That's it. That's a trust system right there. All right. Fine. I'll talk to other people to see how much that shit was. Anyways. I got to say, it was at least $15. Probably. I was guessing like, I'm guessing like 17 ish Yeah. Because the bucket by itself, regular bucket of popcorn is 10 bucks. So. And that's why I make my own popcorn at home. Yeah. Anyways. All right. Shall we begin? All right. Let's do it. Let's watch. Some tra- let's talk about these trailers. Yes. Trailer. So first up. This is the second trailer for Jeff Nichols' The Bike Riders. I thought this was the third trailer. We, I've, I swear we've seen at least two others for this already. Okay. I didn't watch it because I already watched the other two. I'm good. But um, go ahead. Well, this one, I feel it was like the best trailer. Oh, I okay. don't know how many we've seen. but um, And this one felt like, okay, I feel like I got a better sense of the story. Like you might actually watch this. Yeah, and then Tom Hardy looks pretty badass in this. Does I don't he talk know what badass? Other... I don't think he talks badass. I think he, he he's pretty much like making threats without making threats. So like, we'll see. We'll see. Like, we'll see if you make it. You know, kind of like, you know, gangster vibes, you know, a little bit. Hmm. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it now. You're right on. Austin Butler's having a busy year. He's got this. He's got dune and he's got the um masters of the air on apple yeah i've heard good things about i need to get back in it because i've only watched one episode but i've heard Same. that the, the the show is legit i want to check it out yeah all right are you gonna watch this movie bike riders yeah i want to hear what you have to say first mm. i do like jody comer so i want to see what she like that's a cool cast yeah. But it looks a little generic to me, but we'll see. All right, next yeah. trailer. 
Next up, don't tell the mom. Don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. Yeah. I didn't even know they were remaking this. Neither did I. All black cast, basically. Apparently, it's going straight to BET. Something like that. No, I read that it was Cinemas, then BET+. Plus. Oh, okay. They're, they have their own streaming service called BET+. Plus. Oh, there you go. But um, um, the trailer was kind of bullshit. Just, let's call it what it is. Like, it wasn't really a real trailer. It was like an old lady introduces herself as a nanny and then cut to, I guess, the mom getting talked to by a supervisor and then it just cut off. And that was it. And that's some bullshit. This might uh, be on the list of like biggest what the fuck trailers of the year. Like what? Like why? Yeah. Why? This is hurting you, not helping you. You yeah. know what I mean? You're supposed to be making trailers to get people excited, not to make a run the other direction. Yeah. So eesh. Um, the first one's a classic. It's not like amazing, but for some reason it just sits as a classic. You know what I yeah. mean? For yeah. what it is. Like I like that film a lot. It's great. Um yeah. But this might not be destined to be a classic. We'll see. All yeah. right, moving on. And this one, like the trailer, it gave it like a less funny vibes, more creepy vibes. Like in the beginning, it's, right? Like the music it, was a little bit like it's creepy. Yeah, the angles were creepy. It didn't. It visually, it did not have like cinematic style. It just felt kind of like someone mm-hmm. kind of shot it on their phone a little bit. So yeah. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Something that definitely was not shot on a phone. The final trailer for Ghostbusters for Frozen Empire. I didn't want well, I'm just watching it. I'm just going to watch yeah. it. Yeah. No I trailers watch, for this I didn't guy. watch it either, but I wanted to talk about it because it's coming out pretty soon. I think uh, the 24th. Of Are you starting to feel the vibes? I just, I didn't, I didn't like Afterlife. I hope it's better. Mm. And I'm going to go, I'm going to try to go watch it because Zenaida, I don't know. She's on the fence. She's on the fence of it might be too intense. It could be. It does have kids, though, or younger folks yeah. that might help take the edge off a little bit. But we'll yeah. see. Sometimes she hems it up. I mean, we're in a safe space, right? No judgment. I mean, she's watching some crazy shit sometimes. So, you know, I don't understand. Like, all of a sudden, oh, she's scared. Where's she getting that from? But, uh. Bro, she's seen King Kong and Godzilla. I'm like that. I think she can watch a little bit of Slimer. Yeah. <laughs> but, Might be uh, more than Slimer. We'll find out. I'm not. Right. No judgment, guys. No judgment. I'm not going to put pressure on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying. I might have to go <laughs> without her. But she likes going to the movies. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Next. Moving up. Next one. This one. <laughs> this one's interesting. Yeah, it was, I saw the TV Glow, a A24 production. Yeah, so that's which good. Which always gives you a little bit of pedigree. And, you know, they don't just put BS out. You know, they, they, they curate their stuff kind of. You know, they're, they're pretty consistent. Yes. Like, even if you don't love it, they're going to be swinging for the fences with, like, the idea or whatever they're trying to make. And it's not going to be. It's not going to be cookie cutter, whatever they make. No. At least know you're going to get something fairly original, which is awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The trailer is original. <laughs> Dude, I was watching this trailer. I'm like, it's so out there and different. I'm like, and it's kind of, it's horror based. Yeah. But I'm like, it's could be cornerish. It's very adjacent. But, I, but the way they're telling that story, it's so like Stranger Things kind of vibes. I'm like, I think I need to watch it's this. Quirky Ladybird quirkiness to it yeah yeah At, and yeah. that actor that actor was speaking of king kong wasn't he in one of the godzilla movies was he i think he was a scientist like he was one of the scientist kids in one of the movies Ooh, maybe i think in the godzilla one he the was second in a lot of godzilla stuff. one he uh was, was really he changed funny. it up like i, I like dungeons I, and dragons he was funny oh he was in dungeons and dragons as yeah. well yeah but uh yeah he, he looks he looks like he's in it. He's in the zone. This film looks interesting. Um, yeah. I definitely want to check it out. I can't really explain it. So sorry if we didn't do a good job of explaining the plot. <laughs> the plot is essentially there is a TV show from like the 80s that these kids grew up with. Mm-hmm. And 
it's like a, a monster of the week kind of TV show where these other kids have to go fight this cheese ball looking monster or something because mm-hmm. cheese this monster comes after him. Like every week there's a new monster. Mm-hmm. Um it's the 80s. And then cut to like 20, 30 years later, these monsters actually start showing up for real, trying to take out kids. And you're like, oh, but it's not like in a funny way, like it's in a whole oh, shit way. Yeah. And uh it looks there you go. That's the premise and the premise that sounds nutty to you. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Yeah. It does sound nutty. All right. Oh, we're looking forward to that. Was that Tuesday or no theaters May 3rd? Got some time. Yeah. All right. Moving on. The wild robot animated film theater, September 20th. Yeah. Was DreamWorks. this uh dreamworks? Yeah. 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 I like it. It's based on a kid's book, but man, yeah. this looks, I don't know how to describe it. I love the idea of like this mm-hmm. technological, advanced robot mm. stranded in like nature yeah stranded in nature and he's just hanging out with the animals trying to figure out his way it looks like wally but with less death and destruction on the planet yeah and like, it looks visually it looks cool and there's like this different style to it yeah i really want to watch this this looks good and like the music the noodle drum like this is cool mm-hmm. yeah. i think this i hope it does really well i hope it's really great uh i think it's the original director of how to train your dragon Mm. or one of those guys or writers mm-hmm. is doing this i'm like this has a shot it has a shot i really like the juxtaposition of the robot and dealing with technology and nature or you know yeah. thing, trying to adapt, adapt. yeah yeah and how cool. the animals adapt to him and they all kind of like form yeah. like this little environment and i'm like this is cool yeah yeah, yeah I'm, I'm super interested in this one this this might be go higher on my list for the year. I'm like, this could be a thing. Might be a little hidden gem. Yeah. All right. We can use more of those. All right. Shall we move on? Let's do it. Next up, news and tidbits. First up, James Gunn changed the title of the Superman movie. Yeah. And released the logo or the new the super- shield logo. Right? Yeah. For the Superman shield. And it has like, it's trippy because it has like snow. It's like it's covered in snow. Yeah. Which is like a different, like, okay, okay. Um, well, I mean, he's going to be in the solitude, right? And he's got his cool. fortress going, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Um, thoughts on the new title change? What, uh, did he, wait, what did he change it from and what did he change it to? Give me your thoughts. Previously, the movie was called Superman Legacy. And this one. It's just, he changes to just Superman, which I dig. I'm like, it's the first movie in the James Gunn era. How are you going to have legacy? You know, my, in my, you know, way of thinking. And also, I just want like a Superman movie, like no Man of Steel, no, you know, Superman and Lois, no this and that. Let's just do Superman. Can we just do Superman? And, uh, and as far as the shield go, goes, I like it. It's a little sim like the some of the the texture. It looks a little similar to the uh, Zack Snyder, yeah, suit. But um, the red and the the red and the and the gold pot. You know what I'm saying? The blues lighter. I like it. Looks cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna have a lot. I'm looking forward to this thing. Visually, you know, you're gonna be in for a treat. So yeah, let's do it. I ex- right. I I expect a lot of heart. You know what I'm saying? And like. I'm looking forward to that. To like a Superman movie that has heart and a little levity. Because sometimes like these Superman movies are so heavy because he's dealing with, you know, the humanity of it all. And And him being the power of a god. Yeah. And like all this weight on his shoulders and blah, blah, blah. And I'm with you. And I I just like it'd be cool to, you know, him maybe not necessarily kicking back, but at least like maybe like. Hey, a weekend, a little winky ness, you know what I'm saying? So I want some of that Suicide Squad kind of like cheekiness, like yeah, light it up a little bit. Yeah, let's do some like random funny stuff. Like we just yeah. killed the wrong village of of these guys. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whoops. <laughs> and maybe not from him, but from around him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe like yeah. don't make him a dope, but you know, like 
you know, write write the shit out of it. <laughs> you know, get give us some fun. Try a little something different. See what happens. Yeah, we don't we don't want sad Superman. No sad teas. I'm not no sad teas. We've had like it. twenty years of sad teas Superman. There you have it, James Superman Gunn. Superman Returns. No sad Z's. No sad Z's. No nope to James Gunn. Maybe no they changed the name to that Superman from like Superman Legacy to Superman. No sad Z's. Yeah. No. Uh. No pets. No animals from, from <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Three. Please. <laughs> All right. You ready to get, go to the next yeah. one? Yeah. A small independent film. Second one. Part two, do part two. <laughs> uh, made a lot of money this weekend all over the planet. $179 million for the weekend on a non holiday weekend. On a two day weekend, yeah. Wow, sir. What do you think? Awesome. The fact that we have this film is like such, I mean, it looks, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, it's not a traditional blockbuster. You know what I mean? Like it's there's sequences and, and sound designs and out there designs of just visual things. You're just like, what the fuck am I staring at? But you're like, I don't know, but it's real pretty. I like seeing it on screen. Um, and then people are responding so positively and the critics, everyone loves it. This movie's like, I think one of the highest reviewed films in like a decade, possibly much yeah, they, longer. Uh, 95 on Rotten Tomatoes and a 96 audience score. Which is like those two numbers wow. rarely match up. Yeah. Usually so it's, it's like either or. So some good's happening, which crazy is the first Dune. It didn't do that that well uh, financially for the most part because it came out during a weird time. Theaters were not yeah. bouncing back. It was only the year after. It was 2021. So Yeah, it was not. not the timing was tough. Yeah. Um, and they put it on HBO almost immediately. Yeah, it was day and release. I'm like, dope. Yeah, and we got to see it. Yeah, I was like, wow. Yeah. And then I immediately was like, fuck, I wish I could watch this in the theaters. So yeah, then when I'm like, okay, I'm going to watch the next one in the theaters. Right? 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 But, um, right? But man. Anyways. Yeah, man. Financially. I, I wonder how much it's going to make. How much do you think it's going to make? You think it's going to make 800? Close to that, less than that. I mean, 179 is a lot, and like usually, like these big movies, they drop off a lot. But I think this is a lot of competition. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, Kung Fu Panda comes out this weekend, and they said this is has a really long run at the IMAX theaters because that's one of the other reasons they pushed it to this date. Yeah, there's like nothing else hitting it out, and apparently, like a ton of the money they just made came from the IMAX theaters. So I'm like, yeah, dope, and it could hit a billion. It could. Yeah, I kind of have a feeling it'll probably settle in around seven or eight hundred. We'll mm-hmm. see, but it hasn't even opened certain other parts of the world. So this is like not like a global thing. It's like mostly global. But there's there's a lot of space for it to grow still. Yeah. And do you think this is like a multiple viewing film? Like you want to go back to watch it like two or three more times? That yes, you're shaking your head vigorously. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm actually. Yeah, I think it is, and I think too, like the. To want and share it maybe with different people, like watching it with one set of friends, and then maybe go we'll watch it with dragon, dragon family or you know whatever. Dragon your mom, the dragon yeah, dad, yeah. mommy, mira, this is crazy, mom. You know, like that. <laughs> Why is there so much sand in me? All? <laughs> you know, I gotta. Say, I think the craziest movie that I took my mom to see was Kung Fu Hustle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like it was just fun, you know, and she was yeah. like. She looked at me and I'm like, hey, it's fun, huh? It's good. But uh anyways. No, she didn't like uh, the older, the older woman in the show. Where she had like <laughs> curlers in her hair and like a cigarette always hanging out her no, mouth. No, she was laughing. She was laughing the whole time. So okay. I think she enjoyed it. She was not happy when I took her to see science because my mom does not like scary shit. Ooh. And like the like the I don't know if you remember the intro, the title cards in the beginning of the movie. It was like this really tense piano. And like the the title cards would pop up, bam, and like she was doing getting the jump scares just from the title cards. She was not happy then. But um, Dude, I remember the audience like when that scene and signs, Joaquin Phoenix is staring at the um, 
the TV footage and they show. And it's just like just a slice. It's not even yeah. a, it's it's like the least jump scare of jump scares. But and it's like the YouTubiest fucking video of you know of and all everyone time. jumps out of their fucking seats in the theater. I was like, <gasps> Oh shit, how did you do that? You know, fucking M night Shyamalan, man. He had the man. When um, he's on. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways. Anyways. But yeah, I think this movie's gonna it's gonna have legs too because of the word of mouth and everybody just kind of vouching for it. Just be like, man, it was great. What I love too is the director didn't even if you live you, he gets to keep doing whatever he wants to do. Yeah. And like give that man give him a check. Give him a blank check for his next one and let him go. Yeah. I saw like a small snippet of an interview or sit down. It was him and Christopher Nolan and they were talking Mm -hmm. film shit. And I was Mm -hmm. like, Whoa. Like then he asked them, like, you don't draw? To our boy Christopher Nolan is like, no, mm-hmm. actually, I don't storyboard anything. And then, then he's like, I story everything comes from the storyboard, and, you know. And, was, and they were just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we'll mm-hmm. see, sir. Mm-hmm. You know, I got, I got to say, visually, those are probably the, the two most visual directors right now, right? Like that, that can just capture all, like in a in a screen, you know. They're out there, yeah. I think those are the top two, like awe inspiring, kind of like, whoa, how do they do that kind of shit, you know? Out there right now. I think no one, I knock them down a peg or two, but anyways. <laughs> Recency bias. Recency let's bias. Keep, let's keep going. <laughs> You're such a fucking hater. You're like, the last thing he did, me, 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 me. The last three things. Anyways. That's three things. Just watch Interstellar on a loop. You'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Moving on. Something for Andres. Alien Hmm. Romulus is very, very different. What do you think they mean? Dude, as long as there's an alien in it and he's chomping on people Mm -hmm. and he's hiding in the shadows and the people aren't morons. Yeah, I will probably enjoy this film. Yeah, that, I'm looking at the Fidi Alvarez. Yeah, and I'm just like, man, he makes violent shit. So yes. I wonder, I wonder, yes, how 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 he's gonna have these xenomorphs just like eating motherfuckers, like ka 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 you know, just like doing the snap mouth. Thing. Dude, these guys might be walking around like a head underneath their arm just for snacking while they're just like walking down the hall. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like instead of popcorn, just like chewing out some brain. And yeah. then, and then, and just kind of killing time in the corner with a snack. Yeah. I don't know. But um I'm trying this was supposed to be on Hulu originally, but they're digging yeah. it so much it's going straight to the theaters. In and August. Oh yeah, August. And not that far away. Fingers crossed. Mm-hmm. Um they shot it, I think, in Thailand or something like that. So it's gonna have a, you know, it's gonna have like maybe an Asian flair, a little flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they said it takes place between before Aliens Two or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's, be, on, it's between the first and the second film. And I think it's on Earth. I don't know. I'm not even trying to think about it. Let's just get into it. Let's get a trailer going, folks. Yeah, Disney. This is gonna be Disney's first Alien film. Yeah. I I is right. All right. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Hey, it's some hey. clenching. There's some mm, clenching but going on. Disney's first Predator film. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So we'll see. All right. Hey, no complaints Moving there. On. Moving on. Speaking yeah, next of Disney. Up, huh? Speaking, speaking of Disney. Of Disney. Johnny Depp wanted for back for the Pirates? Number six? I recall him being on a witness stand saying he's never going to work for Disney again for all the trillion dollars or what I forgot what is. Did he say that? Something I didn't like keep that. up with it though. There was some, I don't know. I don't recall exactly. There's but a quote man, out there where yeah, he's like, but, I'm not doing it. But now they're saying he might come back as like a supporting character to kind of like maybe pass the torch on to who's long been rumored to be Margot Robbie. Um, mm, yes. Interesting. So, I don't know what this means exactly, but I don't know. I mean, 
the last couple of pirates films, I couldn't, I, could, I turned that shit, I turned it off. Um, I didn't even watch it. I was on a plane one time and I was stuck with nothing to do. And I'd rather just stare at the floor yeah. and watch the, I was trying to, and I'm like, maybe I should. One was directed is- by Rob Marshall, right? And the other one, I didn't even know who directed it. Which Rob Marshall's a good director. So I don't get it. I don't well, if you, if you like Chicago, because that's like the only one good one that he has. He did one or two other ones that are pretty solid. Anyway, okay. Chicago's awesome. Okay. I Anyways. Biased. All right. Anyways. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways. Um, yeah. I'm good. I'm pirates, actually. Unless they do a whole reboot. I don't know, man. Like, the first one is so good, man. It's just... What's funny is I watched the first one a couple of years ago because it's been forever. And I remember really being like iffy on it. And I, I enjoy it more and more every time I watch it. And it's hilarious because it's, it's so simple. They literally go from like point A to point B to point C, back to point A, back to point, back to B, and then to C and the film's over. Like the whole film is like one really tiny little bang, 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 and it's over. But it's fun the whole time. Yeah, that's the thing. It's fun. And then the unsung hero to me was Barbosa. That guy brought it. Jeffrey Rush. Oh, it's great. Yeah. But yeah. But anyways. We'll see. We uh, will see. I didn't know about that Margot Robbie shit. It's been I don't know if that's good or bad. I'm like, what's she going to do? Harley Quinn of the Pirates? I don't know. There you go. Wow. Um, oh, oh, oh. Last piece of news. Last piece of news. We totally forgot to mention this last minute. Academy Awards this Sunday, March 10th. Uh, snuck up. Are you? What are you looking for? What are you looking to see? What are you hoping for? Uh, I think uh, I would like uh, to see Lily Gladstone win for uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. She did did a great job, and uh, it'd be nice to see, um, you know, some different kind of people up there. A little representation, you're saying? Yeah, a little representation. Yeah, and um, yeah. So Lily Gladstone. And it's going to be interesting to see if uh, Oppenheimer steamrolls everybody. I'm really hoping someone kind of like smacks around a little bit. Um, it'd be nice, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm not like super jazzed about anything. I, some guy I was uh, listening to recently was saying every single person in all the technical categories for this year for Academy Awards is so damn lucky that Dune got um, pushed to this year. Because if it came out last year, it'd be nominated for everything and would win everything. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Uh, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm just curious. We'll talk about it next time. Winners and, and who got snubbed. Yeah. Cool. All right. Should we move on to a really fun Ooh, one? Yeah. Because we watched it. We watched Shogun. Stuff. We'll start with we Shogun. Yes. All right. I got to say, first off, okay. I watched it. And I'm like, first episode was super long. Second episode was not as long. And um, I was, I finished it, enjoyed it very much so. And I was like, ooh, I wonder if I'm this is going to finish this because it's like 80% subtitle. It's like mm-hmm. a lot of Japanese. And, uh, and I told you that. And your response was? I'm not afraid to read. I don't remember <laughs> You remember you said, go fuck yourself. That's what oh, you yeah, said. Oh, yeah. That sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. And you did watch it. So what did you think? <laughs> I feel like we should have, like, we should start screen capturing our, our, our text read sometimes and <laughs> no, just posting them for people to them. understand. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> uh, yeah. So first of all, go fuck yourself for thinking I don't know how to read. I don't know. No, I just, of no, all, no, I just thought you were going to be lazy. Second of all, I'm I'm almost fluent in Japanese, so I don't care. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. You're making shit up now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you probably only say, you say arigato, how we say arigato. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Miserable. <laughs> oh, man. Ah. Good um, time. Anyways, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go straight into it. So this, this might be, if it keeps this level up, uh, top five show of the year at this rate, oh, I don't yeah. know. I think it's, dude, it out there. It's gorgeous. And cinematography is gorgeous. And the characters, there's so much shit happening. 
they're not dumbing anything down. I'm getting kind of lost in some shit. I'm like, wait, who's that again? Who do they work for? The dynamics, because it's really complicated. There's politics and there's uh, outsiders throwing all sorts of crazy shit into the politics. How many and names do you know? Do you remember? I, I remember two when I was watching it. Um, I only know one now. They called her like Maria. I'm like, Maria? Maria, bro, the same fucking dude. No, 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 no. You need to rewatch it because that's what the Portuguese priest was calling Miyoko. He calls her Maria. If you paid attention to the fucking show, because later on she like has to tell him the, the other white guy uh, the name. Dude, watch it. Watch it again. Yeah, it's not Maria, bro. It's not. I know, but the other guy called her that. And I'm like, that's fucking weird. And then when she says later, my my name is Miyoko. I'm like, oh, not Miyoko either. What is it? Mikasa or Miraka or something like that. Oh fuck! So you know zero. So we both know zero clearly. No, I know Torogawa. Keep and going. And Blackwell. And Shurikinse. That's the guy that pretended to save the guy, the shady guy. He's he's a he's a. I like him. You know what I'm talking about? He's the guy that boiled the guy. <laughs> oh. That guy's a little shady. <laughs> yeah, he boiled somebody. <laughs> you know who my my silent MVP for the episode was? Was the um the Portuguese pirate guy played by Nestor Cabon Carbone? Yeah, yeah. His name? Rodriguez. Yes. Boom. Four names, bitch. Three of them not Japanese. Good job. Um two. <laughs> I just wanted to make you feel bad. <laughs> um, he was my, my little MVP. I'm like, this guy is like yeah. on another level here. This guy is like, everyone's great, but this guy is like really good. Yeah, so I was like, shit. I don't, I don't know what else to say. It looks gorgeous. The store is super immersive. Everyone's doing a great job. It there's there are only two episodes in, and so much is happening, and you see what the stakes are happening, and they're setting up all these pieces for like. These guys are going to war here. These guys have a secret base over here. These guys got cannons. Why do they need cannons? Oh, they, you know what I mean? Like, this guy wants to get murdered, but if he makes friends with this guy, these other guys will murder him. But if they're friends, these other guys over here want to murder them. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, dude. And speaking of murders, there's a little bit of a, a, some assassin action at the end. Of, like, holy yeah. Jesus. Like, just chop, 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 chop. Like, professional. Yeah. Um, I don't, just, I can't wait. The third episode, I think, just dropped today. So I think someone. This guy. Both of us. Oh, okay. And, and not just that. Christina was like, this show is amazing. I'm like, we're in. Cool. Uh, so, dude, this this might be one of the best shows uh, of the year. And I appreciated That's- it with subtitles. It just felt correct. And yeah, I don't know. We're starting to pick up little words here and there. We're like, we're smart. Oh, shut up. Little words. <laughs> This guy over here. Oh, I think I learned Japanese after one episode. Um, <laughs> can you even say a fucking name? Uh, uh, this fucking guy. The shit I got to deal with. But um, man, it looks like oh, the, it looks so textured, and it's like everything's physical. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like everything that is there. So if the boat feels I cool love- watching something that's not all digital or like all like. You know, done with computers and stuff. And I love the design of the boats. Like when you see like his yeah. the the English pirate boat, I yeah. guess you can call it, versus the design of the Japanese boat. You're like, other like, dude, this is so cool. Like the big yeah. galleons and dealing with storms. I'm like, this is funny. Yeah, dope. Yeah, it just no. felt. I just felt like I was in it. It was so good. I know, and like this show is like, it's like Game of Thronesy, and as far as like it's mm-hmm. chess, not checkers, fucker. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like tick, 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 tick. It's like people are plotting and planning like five, six moves ahead of fucking whatever they're doing. And they're not overly feeding you stuff. You know what I mean? No. They're not like, let me spend 10 minutes explaining things. You know, like, yeah. they don't do that. You're kind of like catching on as you're going through and you think you understand something then someone else does something to like, oh, we just did this because of that. Like, yeah. We're like, okay. Like when they kidnapped the guy later on, where like you know what I mean? Like yeah, the and then the, it thing. was a pretend kidnap. You know, it was like, dude, that's... and then they had to kill the kidnap. I'm like, damn, that was that was kind of dirty. I'm like yeah. holy shit! But it looked what amazing a... the way the the arrows and all that shit and everything. 
and the old man just <laughs> standing there watching with nothing like just the bystander dude or like yeah yeah shit yeah i don't know but um i don't can't spoil anything yet we will go into it eventually but we kind of just pulled the shit out of a bunch of shit <laughs> maybe a little bit um <laughs> sorry guys it's a good show watch it <laughs> it's awesome shogun it's on hulu uh i think three episodes should be out now yeah get, get your popcorn ready it's cinematic like don't think you're just gonna sit back and like doo, 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 doo. You have to yeah. read all the subtitles, pay attention. Yeah. And I think if you get through it all, it's extremely satisfying. And it's kind of refreshing. You don't, you don't really have an option of second screening that shit. Like, you got to be. Yeah. You're focused on this, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, it's good. All right. Uh, I think we're all good with Shogun. It's awesome. It's on Hulu. Clickety, click, click. Third, third episode is dropped, so you can get crazy with Shogun. All right. Yeah. Next up, what do we got? Next up, Constellation, Apple Plus. All caught up. Same thing. I think four episodes, right? Isn't it four episodes mm-hmm. now? Yeah. So yeah. we've gone all the way. Um, we I, like the, I like the name you gave it. I think. Uh, the Space Crazies. Yeah. Hey, it's time for some Space Crazies. Because, dude, this show is so out there. I'm loving it. Like, yeah. it's not overly, like, they're not hitting you over the head. They're just, like, sprinkling crazy dust here mm-hmm. and there. And you're like, wait a minute. Wait, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, what? And I think the thing that also gives it that extra level of like weight is mm-hmm. the daughter. And the daughter is experiencing things. And the daughter is like, mm-hmm. who are you? It's like to her mom sometimes. You're like, what is happening here? Mm-hmm. Like, dude, that's like, that's not, that's gnarly. That's yeah. gnarly. I'm just going to say it too. Is like, I'm not a hundred percent sure that I know what's going on. No. But the stuff that I'm seeing, it's crazy. So I'm just kind of like, Hopefully that at some point in this crazy trip that they kind of like, this is the actual train tracks. Yeah. And then we get they on the same train. They start dialing it in. Yeah. A little like, bit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like we're all yeah. like going the same way because right now it's just like, whoa, oh shit. Like what? Everything's like, it's like, it feels real, but it's surreal. And it's like, what's in her head? What's not in her head? Like or they can- whose head is it? You they know? can make a lot of arguments going in different directions, and they'll all probably hold up. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I'm so long for the ride on this one, because I'm not even going to try. Yeah, yeah. And, the, you know, there's some crazy stuff that happens. You're like, what? The whole- I really like the actor that's playing the husband. He's really pulling in some, like, mm-hmm. weight in the dynamics. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, the show's- You're just is waiting. Is he in on something? With, you know, like, oh, is he medicating her? Is it? What is he hiding? Or you know what I'm saying? There's all, there's like a thousand questions every episode. It's like, well, why does the daughter think this, and why is that? Blah blah blah. Oh. You know, going so many directions, and they would all hold up in the end. Um, maybe next episode we'll get to episode five, mm-hmm. which I'm guessing is maybe the halfway point, which is crazy. Like they mm-hmm. they gotta, how much deeper can they go into this rabbit hole? But yeah, yeah, they keep maybe in. maybe next episode will. Give our top three theories and spoilers and all that other crap. I don't want to spoil it yet. But man, Apple's killing with this Constellation show. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely knew. I mean, the way the trailer was, it was like, oh, it's going to be crazy. We both agree. But like, they nailed it on the crazy part. Now it's time to like start like getting us back on 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 the train. Yeah. Digging it. And it looks great. Everything is just so good. Like, it's just layered. And just when you don't even think something crazy is going to happen, all of a sudden you're like, what the shit? Like the cleaning crew, that's all I'm going to have to say when she was like hanging out with like a cleaning crew mm-hmm. and the thing happens. And I was like, did not see what it's simple, simple, but like, okay, this shit is going to another level of crazy. But, um, I think I'm good. Yeah. Constellation. Everyone check it out. It, it's, yeah. it's a must. If Apple, you're a sci-fi person. Yeah. It's a must. If you like like Event Horizon without all the people ripping off their flesh uh kind of yeah. thing, you you'll like this. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully it doesn't happen. It's not that all. scary though. Nah, a few little things here. It's more psychological. It's so yeah. good. Dripping. All right. It's crazy. All right, space crazies next week. Yeah. All right. Next up. You watch something on Apple yeah. Plus. It just came out. Yeah. Um super unexpected. Little show called Dick Turbin, 
like the tr- totally true or totally false adventures made up of Dick Turbin on Apple. Mm-hmm. Uh, we watched two, two or three episodes at this point. I got to tell you, um, and it stars N- Noel Fielding, who is the co-host of Great British Bake Off. And I've seen little pieces of him outside of that show. Like he does like stand up and stuff like that. And it's funny. But this show came out, we saw the cartoon, I mean, the, the trailer and look, it, it's a cartoon. It's but they spent a lot of money to make this period piece cartoon of this guy who's like, a. they call him highwaymen, like robbers on the, um, in old Victorian ish times. I don't know what to call it. And they spent a lot of money and the whole thing is basically a cartoon and it's like skits and sketches. And for the most part, it's pretty damn funny. Like we are super enjoying it. I think you might dig it. It's mm-hmm. it's unexpectedly funny and some stuff is hilarious. I'm mm-hmm. like, did they just do that? Like, it's a cartoon. And they spend so much money to make like this live action cartoon of all these characters and they all have crazy yeah. backstories and they're all just it's a cartoon. Um, if that's your kind of thing, you want something light and funny and easy, uh easy breezy, and you can't help but to really like no no feeling. He's just like a really funny, happy go lucky dude just to watch him do his thing on screen. Like like in the show and um it's on apple 30 minute episodes you're in you're out you'll laugh a lot check it out it's on it's on apple dick turban <laughs> funny name yeah uh when i saw the trailer i was initially like "Ooh, and this is gonna like this because mm. of the accent and there mm. we go mr bridge guy uh-huh yeah you know so, what's funny well but, we watched like the first like 45 minutes of Napoleon and I didn't want to like bring it up or anything yet. Cause mm-hmm. I'm like, we're going to finish it. Unsure. But accents, I'll say it, accents in this film are an issue. Uh, and then I realized accents in Ridley Scott's other, was it the, the Adam driver film with uh, Lady God yeah. Gucci accents also a huge issue. Yeah. Um, sensing a trend here. Um, I think in this movie, not to, versus the the Gucci movie. Yeah. Um. I think this movie they were like everybody just do their own whatever. <laughs> so they had a free reign to just like I'm gonna talk like this, oh <laughs> you know whatever. The fuck. Dude, if the whole film takes place in France, and I don't think they cast a single a Frenchman person to be in the uh-huh. film because there's like zero French accents as far as I can tell. They're all like British or Australian or anything mm-hmm. else. Several Americans, let's just say, uh, maybe the lead. Um, I might and do it's my, just like, uh, my Brad Pitt. I know the third most French, but it's third, I third best. Yeah. Man, it's like, it's out there. Um, then I anyways. asked me if I knew French the other day, actually. Did you tell you no French fries? No, I said I know, I know some French. And I said, croissant? <laughs> Fucking stretching it there, buddy. Yeah. And then I said, La Croix. Oh, La Croix. La Croix croissant. La Croix. La Croix. And then I think that's it. Good job. Yeah. She was impressed. Can be like, La Pomme. That's apple. Okay, Le okay buddy. Le okay. Mer. It's the ocean. Okay. Damn. Look at you. I, I, I studied. For like a week, French before going to Paris, and that's all you fucking got is Apple. Well, this was like ten plus years ago. I knew like left. I knew directional, left, right, up, down, like how to get around. I knew how to order. Like that's like that's like the core. I think within my a week is like reasonable to like <laughs> learn. <laughs> all right. Anyways, but Anyways. I still did a better job. Those motherfuckers in Napoleon. Yeah, how do you all say right. asshole in French? I haven't gotten that part yet. That's the uh, next, next, the next chapter. <laughs> Anyways, oh, you'll be the first to know. Trust me. I, I bet I would be the first to know. <laughs> uh, um, all right, moving on. This. Bestie, worstie. Yeah, yeah, I got mine. What? I'm just gonna start with my worstie. I all have right. not watched Dune two yet. That's the worst. Oh, that's, that's the, the worst. worst. Right here, my corazón. It hurts. It's beating, but it's beating with pain every time. It I was hurts. thinking too, it was like, man, if I would have watched this with this fool, we probably went to a 
would have went to a bar with good beers or somewhere where they have good scotch and probably would have nerded about nerded out about this movie for a while and had a few good drinks. But no, jerk face hasn't seen it. But yeah, uh, working and we'll see. We'll see what we can do. All right. Um, that's my worst. But right. which fire away what you got, and I'll come back to my best. My worst is I watched Aquaman two. Ooh. Oh shit! Ooh. And you know I'm the guy. Oh like, my! Give shit a chance. You never know; they might turn it around. Oh my god! The first thirty minutes of this thing keep going is a borderline incoherent. It's like for me, bro. Like, hey, good job, bro, bro, bro. Mr. Like, no standards. Like at some point, I thought I was watching the Jason Momoa travel show. I'm like, he's riding. A, is that from the travel show? There's like a clip <laughs> of him riding a motorcycle and like he's busting, going to diners like, across the country on a dirt road. Aquaman riding a motorcycle on the dirt road, looking like a bum. Isn't that from the fucking show? And uh, I'm like. And then there's, they have the baby, the baby, there's no mother in sight because they've like edited her out. If you out look, like, if you look on the ground, the floor, yeah, that's where she ended up. The fucking editing, all that footage yeah. is on the, the floor because they were like, oh. somebody had that eraser pen on deck because they <laughs> erased her off of everything. And I'm like, this guy, and I'm Ooh. like, so the first 30 minutes, I was just like, oh. And like the good thing is like I was at my sister's that out and um we're kind of just like talking at the same time while trying to pay attention to this disaster. And uh it was rough. That was you the first 30 minutes. And then like later <laughs> later <laughs> I wanna be like they turn it around. But <laughs> they did they like is it the worst thing I've seen? Uh, no, I don't think so. But I'm not for sure, you know. So, um, <laughs> it's just like I'm trying to be cool. Like they spent time and money, you know. And uh, there was some shit that happened, and it was just like then it was over. And it's like the movie's fucking pointless <laughs> because there's nothing. It's like. They already wrote the check, and I think they had spent half of the check before they're like, oh, yeah, we're not going to make any more DCEU movies. James Gunn's going to be the new guy. And they're like, well, we're already half in. Well, fuck it. Finish it. And then they're like, and then they all went to a fucking office party, and they fucking never stopped partying. And they fucking, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. They took, like, the writer's fee, like, his last, whatever, couple hundred grand, I guess they were paying him. Showed him the door, kept that money, and just went out all out every day. Just kegs and like early rap times, and yeah. I want to say there were some cool action sequences, but I don't know. It just left me questioning things. So yeah, uh, Aquaman two, it's out there on Max, guys. You know, it's likely not going to be great when. D, like one, what a huge, which is like one of like the top five Warner Brother films from last year's budget wise. You know, they were gonna hope yeah. to make all their fucking money back on yeah. when they just released it without telling anybody on HBO. Yeah, like no idea. It was just there, and it was like, yeah. is that the fucking movie that they're? Yeah. It's right there. But you no know idea. what? Saying that, it's better than Daredevil. Like the Ben Affleck Daredevil, it's better than Elektra. It's better than Ghost Rider. It's better than those movies. You know what I'm saying? Sure. So those this, were made in a, a rough era of yeah. without being surrounded by yeah. uh, comic book films that are actually pretty like legit good. Yeah. Like they've had a blueprint to make legit good comic films for like 10, 15 years now. You know what I mean? Since like the Dark Knight. So it's, it's hard to like some Marvel movies. It's better than Thor yeah. Dark World. It's better than probably. Yeah. Probably is it probably first Avenger. Pro- First Avenger, I was not a fan of First Avenger. I like that film. It's kind of boring, bro. I'm like, it's cool. It's got a good feel. It's got like a the period piece. I, I like I like that director. Did Rocketeer and I, I think it's cool. Uh, but but uh, is it is it better or worse? Here we go. Thor: Love and Thunder. Where is it land? Ooh, because that shit was almost unwatchable for me. Oh. 
Well, I'm pretty sure you turned it off. You didn't finish. No, I did. You did? Yeah, I finished it. I think it might be it better was, than that. It might it be was better than hard. that, but not by a lot. It was it was better than Weapon X, the Wolverine Weapon X. Mm. Remember that disaster? Better than the Fantastic Four movies. So it's like a fucking D plus, C minus. Do you know what I'm saying? It's not like those trash movies, you know, but <laughs> you know. Cause some of those movies made me upset. And this didn't make me upset. I was just like, what? Okay. So yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I can click it. Well, I don't think I can do it. No, I mean anyway. All right. Yeah. Uh Bestie. You're gonna go go for Bestie, buddy. What's your sure. Bestie? Shogun. That thing mm-hmm. is like keeping me like inspired, and, like I'm excited. Like, is it time for Shogun yet? Yeah. Like that show is just levels of like storytelling and it's not handed to you. Like I'm still trying to catch up on like who's who. And like, there's so many moving parts and pol- political things that are happening. And then the action stuff kicks in. You're like, that was fucking badass. Like there's a mm-hmm. scene where you kind of come out to the courtyard and there's like 50 dudes in full samurai armor yeah. just ready for business. And I was like, Oh shit, this looks legit. Like this is, Oh, where's this going? Um, when that happened, I'm like, this show, this fucking show. So I would choke on, uh, and then they just do, they just go places that I wasn't expecting, and it's all awesome. Yeah. That's my best. That's cool. Bestie, worsty for you, Shogun, and then you haven't seen Dune. Bestie for me is I have seen Dune, and it was amazing, <laughs> and I loved it, and. It was an attack on my brain and my ears and my eyeballs. It was, uh, it was great. It was great. I was like, this is weird as fuck, but I can't stop staring at it. And I'm like, this is cool. That's cool. I'm like, like I was listening to the music and I'm like, man, the music's cool. But then I was like, then I was, was watching the shit on the screen and I'm like, I forgot about the score. Like, it was, like, weird, man. It was, like, a lot of sensory overload, bro. It's, like, I'm like the more I'm going to watch it, the more I'm going to catch. Or like, as far as, like, look at that. Or like, because there was a lot of, look, I haven't seen that before. There was, like, a lot of, like, crazy shit, bro. And it's, like, I put it on the, in the, you know, handful of times or you know those movie moments i like i remember exactly you know how i felt when i watched kill bill or exactly mm-hmm. how i felt lord, when i watched the lord of the rings it was like exactly, a transcendent kind of thing yeah mad max Fury road like those elite moments when you watch it you know the uh, bro everything I don't, so god tier it's uh it's impressive and then the story wise there's some cool, there's some cool bits in there, everybody. That is like, I'm, and, and I rushed to watch it by myself. I went by myself because I ain't scared, but I went by myself and, uh, I just want nobody to ruin it for me because, sure, you know, everybody's yapping online. And I'm like, I went by myself and I watched it and I'm so happy that nobody ruined it for me. I think I know some things, uh, but I'm not going to. Get into yeah. it. I don't want to guess because I don't even know if I'm right. Um, but yeah, I'm. I'm sure I, I had some stuff ruined. We'll see. We'll see how. Maybe. Maybe yeah. not. And I'm kind of like, was this thing a dreamy thing? I'm curious. Like, what? What's what? Um, yeah. Visually. And the cast, the acting. Oh, bro! Everybody fucking just hitting home runs left and right. Nobody, nobody was just hamming it in. Dude, the director Dennis Villeneuve. I always uh-huh. get his name wrong. He doesn't fuck around with his actors. I think yeah. they have to be like on point. You know what I yeah. mean? Like he doesn't just yeah. get slouch slouches. He yeah. he wants like the right person for the right job, and they come in knowing they have to like get to have bad and be hitting home runs. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bunting is not an option. Yeah. Like they need to like. What was that kid's name Butler? Austin Butler. Yeah, Austin creepy, Butler. Yeah. That guy's. 
And then he's going to be in Bike Riders. I'm excited for Bike Riders with him and Tom Hardy. And then, dude, Timmy, my guy, Timmy, that guy, can hold, that guy can hold it down. Yeah, he's going to be all right for a while. And then, uh-huh. like, I felt it. I'm like, damn, let's go. Let's fucking go. You know, like, dude, everybody brought it. Special effects. I mean, his just jaw dropping. You just like, oh, uh, you know, going to the Harkonnen planet. Uh, everything, bro. Just like all yeah. kinds of crazy yeah. stuff. And it was long. And at one point, I'm like, oh my God, what's going to happen? Because, like, we've been in here a while and we're, how are they going to tie this up? And, and I got to say that, uh, yeah, man, they did a good job tying it up. And that was my um, bestie. Yeah. How did you like Pew Pew? Did you do all right for you? She's got my heart. I mean, she's pew, pew, <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Um, I mean, she didn't, I feel like she didn't have a lot to do, but. Uh, she was a supporting ish yeah, character. You know what I'm saying? She was introduced in this role. And um, yeah, it's definitely going to be interesting to see what's going to happen, you know, what they, they do say, on the road. They say there's, they're planning the third one in. I think the production company is plan- wanting to push for a third one. I think it's going to be several years off. I think. Yeah. I think someone wants to get away from the sand for a while. So this. It, yeah. The he next has one said that a few times. Yeah, I think the next one, if they end up doing it, uh, four to six years away, probably. But because uh, I found out that like the next, I guess the next book that the uh, Messiah book. Yeah. Takes place ten years after this these events. Oh, okay. So he's he's like, I got time. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and I think that's like the second actual book written by the uh, the, um, the author. There's a whole bunch of other books that are yeah. apparently his son wrote. And people say they're they're just not good. Like mm-hmm. nothing's good. There's only like two or three books that are like legit. Mm-hmm. Everything else is just kind of like money grabs. But um, yeah. I don't. know. We'll see. Anyways, I'm super jealous, and we'll report back to see if we get to watch this film anytime soon. All right. I don't know. I'm going to go again. I bet. Definitely going to go again. Got to. Go to a bigger IMAX. All right. Getting out of this one. Uh, dude, I think I'm going to drop that review of yours into the actual review thing because it was so well done. Wow. All right. Thanks. New to the list, shall we? New to the list. Start wrapping it up. All right. Danzel, March 8th on Netflix. Yeah. You gonna watch it? Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. I'm I'm, I'm hyped. The trailer look good. And uh yeah. I what, think I'm gonna Billy? probably end up Is it Millie or Billy? Mm-hmm. Millie. Millie. Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah. She does good good stuff and she's been producing and like it's always very solid. Or even if she does something that's not like amazing, it's gonna be better than Aquaman too. By, by far. Ooh. Like All that, right. Yeah. Here's the hard part, man. That is that one. And we got um four things coming out. So like the day before this. And I think the day after around this time, Wonka on HBO is, is yeah. dropping. Mark so like, Wonka. Yeah. So like, that's, that's the Amy. other one. I'm like, I really want to watch that too. And then on top of that, the Academy Awards are March 10th. So I'm like, bang, 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 bang. Mm-hmm. Like that's like, that's a lot of hours of shit to watch right there. Yeah. And next, we got a couple. We got one more. One more. Oh, uh, mentioned it earlier. Mm-hmm. Far away. Go ahead. Napoleon on Apple Plus, ready yeah. to go. Yeah. No fanfare. Just like here it is. I'm like, oh, like waiting forever. We kept clicking. Like, is it available? Is it available? And we forgot about it. And then all of a sudden, it's like, hey guys, remember me? I'm like, oh yeah, you. Um, I told you we watched for. We went in earlier, forty five minutes worth. Mm-hmm. Uh, visually it's really cool and again it, it's not a review uh, store wise it's all over the place uh, accents are completely inconsistent uh, which is kind of maybe funny after a while there's some lines I, I can't believe they left some of these lines and these performances in I'm like what the fuck is that mm-hmm. you know what I mean like it's inconsistent is definitely a word uh, you know what I mean This is, it's not like a Denis Villeneuve film 
damn, he would have killed it, this fucking film with this kind of budget and like story. Anyways, but um, yeah, it's on Apple. Click it. Who cares? There's some really cool action stuff that we saw so far. Um, it's not bad. It's just kind of interesting. You know, I, I, I think you'll end up digging it. Yeah. Yeah. There are not like too the many cool, Ridley Scott movies I don't like. The cool stuff's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just got to like move past the other stuff and don't ask too many questions. Yeah. All right. Moving on. All right. Time for our world famous double feature. Oh, yeah. All right. What is go the first? Theme? You want me to go first? What, explain the theme. Oh, the theme. Yeah. Since we were in Arrakis and we got to spend some time in the sand, this time we're going to do a. Go back to the sand. We're going back to the sand. One way, we're, kind of, or another. Yeah. We're going to do a. A double feature with either sand movie or a sand sequence, something, something in the desert, loose, you know, yeah, loosely, like you know, people are thirsty out here. Yeah, some, you know, it's hot, hot time movie. Sure, desert. Go ahead. I'll go first. Something I, one of my top favorite films. Love this love film. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's um, it features some underground worms too. It's not as big. Uh, well, Tremors. I love Tremors. It, mm. It's all in the desert. Things coming up, eating people. No one's riding them, but um, I almost have to say it's such a classic, fun, deserty kind of horror slash comedy slash slapstick, mm. like keep fucking running survival kind of thing. Um, big energy once it gets going. It, love it. Tremors. There, that's my pick for going back to the sand. Yeah. I, uh, we, that's a, uh, put on the list special. That's one of the ones that we, we love talking about throughout the time. Never gets old. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. that film doesn't, just doesn't get old. My pick, which I think is actually going to be good together. I'm going to pick Rango. Ooh, I did not see that coming. That's a good one. Yeah, man. You know, a little lizard, a lizard gets stuck out in the desert. And there's a little town with a bunch of critters, and they all want some water. You know what I'm saying? They're all thirsty. Uh, and they get into some hijinks. I gotta say, Johnny Depp kills it. The voice acting in this movie is crazy, and the animation, it's so specific and interesting. And, and, and it's different. not like a mainstream thing. Yeah. They you know, do it's some not stuff. a generic face and. You know, there was like some really detailed kind of they put gruesome, in the work. gruesome designs for, you know, there's like a rooster or something like that that's got like an arrow sticking out of an eye, you know, and it's one like, of the guys it, had like a beak that's been like ripped off and they replaced it with like a metal. They were like, jeez. Yeah, they have like some serious close ups of some ugly critters. And, uh, but it's interesting. Can't look away. And it's funny. And it's got some action, and yeah, the, the everyone's desert. a character. The show, the film story moves fast, bang, bang, yeah. bang, bang. You're just like, what the shit is happening here? Yeah. No, that's it. That's our double Rango. feature. We, we did a good job, man. Tremors I was also, and Rango. I was, also, I was also going to the cut. Well, there's a bunch of others we can talk about some other time, but yeah, Tremors Rango. That's solid, solid desert. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's our show. Anything else you want to add before we go? Sand, bro. Sand. It's everywhere. A rocket. All well, right. Well, that's I'm our still, show. Thank you I'm, for listening. I'm still disappointed you did not get the popcorn bucket. <laughs> yeah. Maybe next time. Maybe those I have some. Thanks for listening. Please like and subscribe. Leave comments or recommendations. Are we missing something out there? Let us know. Check out our YouTube channel. Um, interact. Ask questions. I think I'm just going to, every time we post an episode, I'm just going to ask something dumb and see if anybody comments on it. What's the dumb thing you want to ask this week? I haven't thought about it, but I'm going to post something on there. Okay. Yeah. Looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. All right. I'm Francisco. And I'm Andres. Have a great week. Two nerds, one pod. Vamanos. Let's go. Put it on the list. <laughs>